This episode is sponsored by Squarespace. In this episode, I explore our recently abandoned NATO radar base and bunker, which guarded the airspace of Belgium and Luxembourg. Hi, I'm Bob, an urban explorer, and with friends I explore the most amazing abandoned places worldwide. This control and reporting center was established in 1951 with a mobile radar unit and tents. In 1995, a three-story bunker was put into use with the task of guarding the airspace of Belgium and Luxembourg. It was part of the NACH, the NATO Integrated Air Defense System, established during the Cold War. It's a command and control network combining radars and other facilities spread throughout the NATO Alliance Air Defense Forces to foresee a possible attack from the east. This place got abandoned in 2021 when they moved to a new location. Getting dark, but doesn't mind because everything is covered in darkness. Except these empty spaces here. But there's not much to see, I believe. So first we go to the weir and then we go to the bunker. Here you can see the transmitter equipment of the radar. So we're now below the radar, there's nothing to see I guess. Last time I went up from the outside, this time the inside, but it seems like a dead end here. So I believe we have to go outside and go up further. Oh, it's pretty bad weather. Ta-da! So we're at the base floor of the radar. I think when we look up, you can see it. There she is. Crazy, huh? The engine probably to turn it. So wrong use of equipment can lead to damage of the radar. So two languages, because Belgium has two languages, Flemish and French. Alright, let's go up. Sounds remind me of moving feet in a gym. The radar we just located here is a Aris MPR, medium power radar, made in France by Thomson. It's the only radar of this type in Belgium. It could detect targets from a distance of 300 kilometers, 190 miles. One of the wheels that turned the radar. It really looks like I'm standing on top of a tank.
The radar and components were housed in a multi-store building with on top a big dome to protect the equipment so it could work in any weather condition. The radar turned around constantly. When built, the radar was far ahead of its time, but a lot changed in the past decades with the arrival of drones, unmanned planes and new jet fighters. The radar was deactivated in 2015. Standing in almost the middle of the dome, and as you can hear, my voice sounds really, really funny. It's so big that I can't get it on my wide angle. Let's explore the underground part. Alright, the entrance to the bunker. I believe. Thick doors. Okay, let's go down. This is the bunker which opened in 1955 and has three floors which go over 30 meters, 100 feet underground. From here they surveyed the airspace and also controlled the quick reaction alert interceptor missions. Two armed F-16 fighters were standby 24-7 in case of an alert. Renovations were carried out in 1993 and in 2021 the whole facility closed. Let's go all the way down first. My god, pretty deep. I believe it goes 30 meter. On the ground, and another one. Okay. It's a pretty large bunker with countless rooms. Yes, it's military. The chance you find something intact is pretty small. They normally clean everything out, and in this case, they moved, so they took everything. Another stair is going up again. Let's, let's check how the toilets look like. I thought I'm really interested, but pretty modern, but it has been in use, I believe, until 2020, 2021. So nice. I always like these little details. Let's continue. like we're going to the communication rooms. Oh nice. Some leftovers. stuff here. Looks like this is the old communication room with some outdated stuff. Alright, 
restricted area. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> still works. Crazy. Let me check if there's something here. This restricted room. Oh. All empty. What's this? Looks like a safe or a safe room. Oh. Really heavy door. Oh my gosh. We have to make sure this door stays open. I don't want to be uh, stuck 30 meters under the ground. Looks empty. There's one paper. It's English, so you can read it. Authorized personnel protected room. So this paper just says who has access to this room. So for one moment I saw there was still electricity in this bunker, but as you can see it works on batteries. Many many rooms in here. What's this? That's a pretty cozy color. Ah, it's because here's the bar. Some nice decorations there. Some jet fighters. Cool. Also here's the illuminating paint. Let me check it and then turn off the flashlights. Yep. It's actually better to see in real life. Imagine working here all day, eh? No sunlight. I think up to 300 people were stationed here. see some things used to stand here all taken out unfortunately this is for the noise these panels This part was the heart of the bunker. Staircase, a smaller one. <laughs> Evacuation plan stay calm. Classified documents have to be put away in the right way. Check for suspicious objects, take a smoke mask, <laughs> funny.
Wow, oh my god, this is a nice room. So although it's empty, there are always some nice parts to find, right? Check this. So here is a Belgium jet fighter. I guess he's intercepting this Russian one with shooting this AOX. Actually this plane is based near me, over the border in Germany. Hmm, is that a Dutch flag? Another Russian plane firing some missiles. Yeah, really, really nice. Amazing room. Here an old school Zeppelin. This is funny by the way. <laughs> For the Star Wars fans. And here some names of the people who worked here. Ah, a little bit old school. Showers. Well, not too bad. Seen uh, much worse. That's a nice one. It's all about the details in this place. So in case of emergency, you could still find your way to the shower. You can hear electricity buzzing. Mm. Check this. Okay, what's going on here? Have to watch out with the cables. The elevator, forbidden to stand under the weight. Some sound buzzing here. Oh! Air vents and stuff. Secure line. Sorry, 30 meters on the ground, and it looks like there's another 30 meter going down here. Pretty long corridor. Then, finally, an end to this long corridor. What does the paper say? So there's a shelter and you have to call, but we're not going to press it. Okay, from here the walls look pretty new. Looks like they have been repainted not too long ago. Hmm. I really don't know where we are and where we end up, so that's a thing. Check this also here. You can see there's an added update. Some old stuff there. And this can be really old looks pretty new and also these lights also look pretty new look here shelter of the chef here you can see the original color i guess something to see in here oh yeah cool filters 
these are contaminated filters, it says. So these have been used. They still have to be taken out. Let me check, there's a date on it. 2012, that's just 10 years ago. Here are some more filters we just tagged. Ventilation. I guess with some spare engines. And here is another one. It's pretty cool, these doors are pretty old, so the other part was newer, I guess. Here you can see old steel doors. Nice. This seems like a dead end. Look at this. Look at these handles. And here again, check this. This can be too old, right? Doesn't belong in a bunker from the Cold War. Keep closed, it says. Oh, nice. The attached filters are here. Measures the gas pressure. And it says it has been repaired. And it seems there is pressure on it too. That one is repaired. This one is tested. In a bunker you have overpressure, so possible toxic outside air doesn't come in when there is a small leak. Something fishy with this part. Oh, I missed this. Oh, here you can see. 1965. And here, what is this? Really old papers. Drill for entry. Take a deep breath, close your eyes, take off your mission mask, change your gas mask, blah 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 blah. Exhale, inhale. So a crazy smell in here too. And we saw the old parts first. Look at this corridor. It's pretty white. Strange. Really strange. Ventilation tubes. Oh, here you can see filter. That's for uh, raw dust. The airlock allows people to enter without unfiltered air coming into the other side of the bunker. There must be another exit nearby. This door had to be opened and you had to ask for it. Check this door. Really massive one. Whoa. Wow. Alright, seems gonna take another exit. <laughs> Alright. Hopla. Thanks Squarespace for sponsoring this video. With Squarespace you can connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated, members only content. It can also automatically post pictures from social media channels on your website or automatically push website content to social media. It's an all-in-one, easy to use platform. So go to squarespace.com slash unbeatenpod to get a free trial and save 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain.